Okay, what I want to do is we're going to talk about lighting. And I've cleaned out my whole scene because I want to start this from scratch. No materials, no objects. And what we're going to do, we're going to light an object with the backdrop. And this is going to be sort of like a two, three part video. Uh, just because we, we have a lot of things to actually cover when we're talking about lighting. It's so important. You need lighting and you need materials in 3D. It's just no way around it. So in order to get started, what I want to do is let's just create us a quick backdrop here. And it's going to be pretty simple. Let's just go into our square here so we can pull up our different view and just go to the right side. All right. And I'm just using one, two and three to kind of zoom in and out here. And what we want to do, we want to create sort of a backdrop. And the way that I'm going to do that is let's just grab our pen tool right here and let's just create a quick little backdrop. So I'm going to put this right here. It doesn't have to be perfect and click there. And then I'm going to click here possibly and just sort of create this sort of backdrop for us so that we have that uh, there. And that is good enough. That's it. I will probably extend this point out, but we'll do that here in a second. Let me hit the plus. Well, the space bar, excuse me. I said plus. All right. So we got sort of this backdrop here. All right. And let me go back to perspective view. So I'm just hitting the squares. And if you want to go in and move your point, which this one I do kind of want to move, just click on the point. Just make sure you're like on points. When you're doing spun, it automatically sort of does that. I'm just going to pull this out just a little bit so we sort of had this backdrop it doesn't have to be perfect but we just want something um, here for us all right and let's extrude it so let's go in and just find your extrude boom right there and drag it up like we did in the previous videos and what we want to do is just extend this so just click on your extrude and just boost this up. All right, you can see that, boom, we got a little backdrop here. Now I do wanna make this a little bit bigger, so I'll set my offset to like 2000. That's better. All right. Not the best backdrop. Don't even need it that big, 1500. And you can just put a plane in the back. It really doesn't matter, just as long as you're sort of getting the concepts. You don't have to have exactly what I, uh, have here but we just want to kind of get the concept here and I don't want to see these lines so let's go to display and let's just go to groove shading so it's there all right so we got a nice little backdrop that's cool all right and let's add a sphere into our scene so let me just click on sphere and just move this up into our scene here all right it's looking perfect I do kind of want it off the backdrop a little bit and I am going to size it down so if you click on scale we can size this down I don't want it to be too big but that's looking pretty good and just remember I'm using one two and three to move in and out we've got our move we got our scale and we have our rotation so those are the ones that you I constantly you kind of have to really know those so if you don't kind of get that go ahead and go back and watch those videos because that moving is imperative in any 3d world so let me click on the sphere and my sphere is looking a little rough around the edges we can see that and once we put our apply our materials and lights we're gonna see that problem so if you have sphere selected, if you click on segments, we can just bump this up to 72 and we can round that out. So now it's looking actually pretty good uh, here. So we have our setup. We have a nice little um, backdrop with a sphere here and we're ready to go. So in the next video, we're going to make some materials and we're going to start applying our lights.